Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Taurus. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, 111 on the camera. The Emperor, Aries energy. We have Five of Cups. All right, we have the Eight of Wands and the Page of Cups kind of came out weird. You guys could be getting an apology from somebody, a communication from somebody wanting to extend an olive branch. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I saw the Ten of Pentacles while I was shuffling. Yeah, I feel like the Emperor. Yeah, you definitely have somebody coming in to want to talk here. Like, you're going to be receiving a message or communication from somebody. Five of Cups. Um, ooh, somebody that's mad that something didn't manifest. Ooh, I don't know if this is something that didn't manifest with you or something that didn't manifest somewhere else. But this this is somebody that's coming towards you that's in regret, disappointed, had some type of loss or failure, disappointment here. They're not happy. They could also maybe feel like you're abandoning them. But this kind of feels like somebody that something else didn't work out, to be honest. Hmm. Like I'm almost getting like some this vibe that somebody didn't value you because like even in this picture, yeah, they're they're like they're focused on these three cups that are falling over, but they're still not looking at these this two of cups right here, which I feel like that would be you. But let's see, eight of wands, the seven of wands. So you guys are maybe going to, you guys maybe already have blocked this person, or you will end up blocking them whenever that when this communication comes in, or you're going to be just very protective of your energy. Like you're going to have very strong, you're going to be standing your ground with this person. It's like I see them like wanting to man like they want the ten of pentacles with you, something long term, stable, like abundant, whatever. But and this could be your your divine counterpart. This could also be somebody that's coming towards you to try to maintain some type of control. Ooh, the devil on the back of the deck as I'm saying that. Yeah, I don't know, guys. The devil, the ace of cups in reverse, the king of wands. This person's coming towards you for not because they love you. I'm not saying that they don't have feelings for you, but like more so what their motivating factor is, is because of like, this person's still toxic. They're still cold. Like, I feel like this person is like starting to maybe feel like they're losing some type of power over you. <sighs> Tell me about the, why is the page of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles here? Judgment and the strength in reverse. Yeah, it's like somebody doesn't feel like they have a, a, they don't feel good enough for you or they don't feel like they have too much to offer you. But they want they want another chance, but they don't. Uh, this person already knows that there's a good possibility that you're going to reject this offer because they know that they're not bringing it shit to the table. OK, they know they're not bringing nothing to the table here and they just they don't feel confident in themselves or what they're offering or their abilities to be able to have the Ten of Pentacles with you right now. They have a lack of confidence. They're still in like some inner turmoil. They have low self-esteem. They have these feelings of not being good enough for you. But I do see them wanting another chance with you. Could it be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. See, yeah. But the, the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. What is judgment? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, what does that do with my collective? Yeah, they feel like now we have the Queen of Pentacles coming out. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. They want, they feel like you guys can have something successful. They feel like you are their match. Like they feel like you are their person. They want to try, they've learned some type of lesson here. We're going to take a look at what that was, but they want to try to regenerate. They want to try to re, how do I say that? Heal this with you. Mm -hmm. They want to try to move on from whatever has happened between the two of you and like build a stronger foundation. Like they feel like you guys can have, I feel like they do want your attention as well. What what is what did this person do? This lesson that they've learned for they didn't listen to their intuition. I feel like they were also maybe like had a hidden motive or they were keeping sick secrets, not wanting to face something that they knew. Yeah, look at this. The three of pentacles. What does this have to do with my collective? The three of pentacles. The wheel of fortune. Reconciliation. Now it's like well, they knew. What is the but what is about the lesson they've learned? What is the lesson they've they've learned though? What's the lesson they learned though? That came out weird. What's the lesson that this person has learned? I don't know. I they're not telling me exactly what happened. What happened with this person that now they feel like, oh, five of pentacles. So they're either going through some type of financial loss or they got they got ghosted or shut out. Let's see. 
Clar give me one more card to clarify the Five of Pentacles. They're going through financial issues. Refusing, they were refusing to close out a cycle or something like that. Yeah, learn or complete at current soul lessons. But why? What In what way? Nine of Pentacles. The moon. Somebody had a fear of like maybe being alone. This person maybe had a fear of like being like on their own. So they were maybe like holding on to something from their past. They had like, an, they were not letting something go because they have like fears of abandonment or something. What is the page of wands? I don't know, guys. I feel like they they did they were like not investing in you like they should have invested, like they they should have. Hmm. Whatever has happened, they've learned their lesson now. I or they're about to learn their lesson. Let's see more of what happened with this person. All right, so we have taking, okay, the cards keep falling. We have taking ash, taking action. I'm having a hard time talking, too. We have finds you attractive. Eternal bond. Okay. Knows your worth. Why is this happening now? Spiritual purpose. Yeah, big lessons. What is, see, what is that about a lesson? Tell me about big lessons. Single and available. What is the book? Why? I see that they're single, but what was the big lesson for this person? What? Big lessons. Hot and cold. Pro, yeah, I don't know. But what is making this person like, what's teaching them a lesson? What situation? Trying to score and not certain yet. Okay. True love. I don't know, guys. I need more clarity on this. I see that they're want, they're coming in. They're taking action. They're feeling very drawn to you. Love of a lifetime. Unforgettable. That knows your worth. Treating you right. Values you. Perfect match. I told you. I already said that. Yeah. Compatible. Mutual desire. Spiritual purpose. Big lessons. You guys are meant to meet. And we have single and available. Not, read, not in a relationship ready for love. So it's like they're freeing themselves from something. And so that they're ready for a relationship with you. They feel true love with you, but there's something else. Like, I want to know what happened. I want to know what this person went through. <laughs> I'm going to use this deck. I haven't used this in a minute. This was like my go-to deck for a minute there. I haven't used it in a long time. What is the, tell me, outline what the lesson was for this person's spirit. What was this person's lesson? They've learned some type of lesson. Yeah, hypnotized. Fights. Forbidden fruit. Reconciliation. Hmm. Broken promises again. Unrequited. Yeah, they were definitely trying to. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, 111 on the camera. The Emperor, Aries energy. We have Five of Cups. All right, we have the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Cups kind of came out weird. You guys could be getting an apology from somebody, a communication from somebody wanting to extend an olive branch. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I saw the Ten of Pentacles while I was shuffling. Yeah, I feel like... The Emperor. Yeah, you definitely have somebody coming in to want to talk here. Like, you're going to be receiving a message or communication from somebody. Five of Cups. Um, ooh, somebody that's mad that something didn't manifest. 
Ooh, I don't know if this is something that didn't manifest with you or something that didn't manifest somewhere else, but this, this is somebody that's coming towards you that's in regret, disappointed, had some type of loss or failure, disappointment here. They're not happy. They could also maybe feel like you're abandoning them, but this kind of feels like somebody that something else didn't work out, to be honest. I'm almost getting like some this vibe that somebody didn't value you because like even in this picture, yeah, they're they're like they're focused on these three cups that are falling over, but they're still not looking at these this two of cups right here, which I feel like that would be you. But let's see, eight of wands, the seven of wands. So you guys are maybe going to you guys maybe already have blocked this person, or you will end up blocking them whenever that when this communication comes in, or you're gonna be just very protective of your energy. Like you're gonna have very strong, you're gonna be standing your ground with this person. It's like, I see them like wanting to, man, they, they want the 10 of pentacles with you, something long-term stable, like abundant, whatever. But, and this could be your, your divine counterpart. This could also be somebody that's coming towards you to try to maintain some type of control. Ooh, the devil on the back of the deck as I'm saying that. Yeah, I don't know, guys. The devil, the ace of cups in reverse, the king of wands. This person's coming towards you for... Not because they love you. I'm not saying that they don't have feelings for you, but like more so what their motivating factor is, is because of like, this person's still toxic. They're still cold. Like, I feel like this person is like starting to maybe feel like they're losing some type of power over you. <sighs> Tell me about the, why is the page of pentacles and the ten of pentacles here? Judgment and the strength in reverse. Yeah, it's like somebody doesn't feel like they have a, a, they don't feel good enough for you or they don't feel like they have too much to offer you. But they want they want another chance, but they don't. Uh, this person already knows that there's a good possibility that you're going to reject this offer because they know that they're not bringing shit to the table. OK, they know they're not bringing nothing to the table here and they just they don't feel confident in themselves or what they're offering or their abilities to be able to have the Ten of Pentacles with you right now. They have a lack of confidence. They're still in like some inner turmoil. They have low self-esteem. They have these feelings of not being good enough for you. But I do see them wanting another chance with you. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. See, yeah. But the, the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. What is judgment? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, what does that do with my collective? Yeah, they feel like now we have the Queen of Pentacles coming out. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. They want, they feel like you guys can have something successful. They feel like you are their match. Like they feel like you are their person. They want to try, they've learned some type of lesson here. We're going to take a look at what that was, but they want to try to regenerate. They want to try to re, how do I say that? Heal this with you. Mm -hmm. They want to try to move on from whatever has happened between the two of you and like build a stronger foundation. Like they feel like you guys can have, I feel like they do want your attention as well. What what is what did this person do? This lesson that they've learned for they didn't listen to their intuition. I feel like they were also maybe like had a hidden motive or they were keeping sick sec secrets, not wanting to face something that they knew. Yeah, look at this. The three of pentacles. What does this have to do with my collective? The three of pentacles. The wheel of fortune. Reconciliation. Now it's like well, they knew. What is the but what is about the lesson they've learned? What is the lesson they've they've learned though? What's the lesson they learned though? That came out weird. What's the lesson that this person has learned? I don't know. I they're not telling me exactly what happened. What happened with this person that now they feel like, oh, five of pentacles. So they're either going through some type of financial loss or they got they got ghosted or shut out. Let's see. Clear give me one more card to clarify the five of pentacles. They're going through financial issues. Refusing, they were refusing to close out a cycle or something like that. Yeah, learned or completed current soul lessons. But why? What? In what way? Nine of Pentacles. The moon. Somebody had a fear of like maybe being alone. This person maybe had a fear of like being like on their own. So they were maybe like holding on to something from their past. They had like, an, they were not letting something go because they have like fears of abandonment or something. What is the page of wands? I 
I don't know, guys. I feel like they they did they were like not investing in you like they should have invested like they they should have. Hmm. Whatever has happened, they've learned their lesson now. I, or they're about to learn their lesson. Let's see more of what happened with this person. All right, so we have taking... Okay, the cards keep falling. We have taking ash, taking action. I'm having a hard time talking too. We have finds you attractive. Eternal bond. Okay. Knows your worth. Why is this happening now? Spiritual purpose. Yeah, big lessons. What is see? What is that about a lesson? Say about big lessons. Single and available. What is the book? Why? I see that they're single, but what was the big lesson for this person? What? Big lessons. Hot and cold. Pro, yeah, I don't know. But what is making this person like, what's teaching them a lesson? What situation? Trying to score and not certain yet. Okay. True love. I don't know, guys. I need more clarity on this. I see that they're want, they're coming in. They're taking action. They're feeling very drawn to you. Love of a lifetime. Unforgettable. That knows your worth. Treating you right. Values you. Perfect match. I told you. I already said that. Yeah. Compatible. Mutual desire. Spiritual purpose. Big lessons. You guys are meant to meet. And we have single and available. Not, read, not in a relationship ready for love. So it's like they're freeing themselves from something. And so that they're ready for a relationship with you. They feel a true love with you, but there's something else. Like I want to know what happened. I want to know what this person went through. <laughs> I'm going to use this deck. I haven't used this in a minute. This is like my go-to deck for a minute there. I haven't used it in a long time. What is the, tell me, outline what the lesson was for this person's spirit. What was this person's lesson? They've learned some type of lesson. Yeah, hypnotized. Fights. Forbidden fruit. Reconciliation. Hmm. Broken promises again. Unrequited. Yeah, they were definitely trying to string you along. Why? Yeah, they regret doing that now. Why? Because they feel like they've run out of time. What were they placing their... They, it's like they feel like they're really drawn to you. But why is fights here? Knowing the path, boundaries. This person knows that they're going to have to fight for you or that it, there's going to be some tension. Like, they know that now it's going to be harder to have you. Like, they want to reconcile, but they know that they're going to have to work for you or something like that. Why were they playing games with my collective, though? Yeah, they were trying to keep things like, yeah, building trust foundation. They try, they either friend zoned you or they were trying to take things extremely slow with you. Because they, they didn't trust this connection. Yeah, they didn't trust it. They were they wanted wanting to trust this before they gave you like a love offer. Yeah, even though they knew you were wish fulfillment. So why didn't they go for this? Why didn't they go for this spirit? I feel like they regret it now. This person didn't trust you. I know that's probably going to sound weird, you guys, but this person felt like they couldn't trust you. They had to protect themselves from you. Why? Why did they feel like that spirit? What about home? Happiness. Why did they feel like they couldn't trust the collective? Cursed. Because this person has never had luck in love. So they were projecting all their bad relationships, bad experiences and relationships, how they've handled, mishandled relationships in the past onto you. I told you this person does not trust their ability. 
to be able to have a relationship, a, a successful relationship. And they just, they, they don't have faith in relationships, period, because they've had a string of bad relationships. But I do feel like maybe they were like, what about, what about happiness? Mirroring. Love activation. First love. Wow. Yeah, there's something significant here. Mirroring each other. Something needs healing. Seeing yourself in them. So this could be your twin for some of you, but it's like you and this person both feel this connection. No one compares to you. First true love, new love experiences. It's not even really new love, but it says awakening, heart space opening, twin flame ascension. Shocking events. Hmm. What's the shocking event? Twin flame. What did I just say? Polar opposites, yin and yang. Like this, yeah, clean up. Somebody feels like they got to, yeah. Somebody's like not taking action towards you, but they're trying to like change. I mean, I'm not like, for what I see here, this person knows that they need to get their shit together. They were not expecting to meet you when they did. That's the unpredictable. They weren't expecting to meet somebody that they had such an intense connection with. And I feel like this person is trying to get, get cut out all, all. I feel like this person has like a karmic or karmics or people around that they need to clean up their life or something. But it says holding on to hope, not taking action, stand still and delays. It's not the right time, but it says a new self, lasting changes, a love that transforms. This love is transforming a player. Somebody that was wanting to play the field, thought the grass was always greener. I think they did something though, refusing to commit. Did they, what did they do? Tell me more about what they did to my collective. Did they think that they, spotlight, self-delusion, yeah. Healing. What does that do to my collective? Spotlight, self-delusion. Phone call. Sex. Oh. Divorce. What does this have to do with hot and cold? They were hot and cold with you for sure. Something they, but I feel like they had something else going on. For some of you, they were married. They had a whole other situation going on when they met you. And that's, a, they, that's why they were like, they met you. They felt this strong connection to you. But they had a lot, they were in the, the, the depths of some shit. Okay. I'm telling you, like they, when they met you, like they didn't, they had a lot of loose ends that weren't tied up. Like they just had a lot of baggage is what I'm getting. But somebody's like trying to get their life together to be able to have, be with you because they feel like they're running out of time. They feel like they need to hurry up and get their life together. Like they they regret playing with you. Why are they in this energy of regret? Let me, let me get a few more clarifiers before I move on to those cards. Why is this person in the energy of regret, spirit? Why are they in this energy of regret now? Because they feel like you're the forbidden fruit. Yeah, they feel like they can't, they don't have access to you. They can't have you anymore. They, they desire you, but they feel like they can't have you or you won't let them have you because you've set these boundaries. Yeah, they feel like you guys could have been a power couple. Yeah, they, they also crave you sexually. Yeah. Let's see. Why are they in this energy of regret? They were going to have to give up something. They were maybe having to have to give up something in regards to like their sex life. They could have like they could have been sleeping around like they have like a sex addiction or something like that. What about sacrifice and sex? Toxic. Yeah, not not good for you. Low vibrational, toxic relationship. Or it was somebody it was a, if, if they weren't sleeping around with a bunch of people, they had a connection that they had with somebody else that was just purely based off of sex or lust that they were going to have to give up. But it was toxic anyways. So that's how they regret. They're trying to figure out now what to do. They they regret keeping secrets from you. What are they and like not telling you how they really felt? Yeah, trying to keep this very surface level, treating this like it wasn't a real love connection. There are bad habits, addiction. Yeah, addicted to sex. I just said that. Drinking some type of addiction, destructive behaviors. Mm hmm. Now, what is the dry spell? Passion. Now this person's not getting any of that. What about, ooh, what is that about? Runner. Why? It's like you, they knew you wanted, what is, they knew what you wanted to manifest. They knew exactly what you wanted. Like, and I feel like this person, yep, there's lessons again. And then we have love and growth. Less love lessons learned, shift in perspective, raising your vibration, love that grows with time, needs time to grow, unexpected lessons in love. This person treated a divine connection like a karmic connection, like a, like a little surface level nothing connection. I feel like this person knew exactly what you wanted. 
it's like I feel like at some point, like this person was more thinking like lustfully. You were wanting to to give to build something. You were wanting to build, have a family, something stable, committed, and they knew that. They knew that they were in this energy of like they knew you were trying to make something happen. They weren't. They were playing games. Yeah, because we have opposites here. They knew you guys weren't on the same page. Differences creating a barrier, love and strife, love versus ego, two opposing forces. Like you and this person were not on the same page. And I don't think that they knew that. Yeah, avoiding the connection, running from themselves, ignoring you. It's like when they when things maybe were trying to get a little too serious, like when they felt you were getting a little bit too invested or a little too a little too serious with them, or you started asking too many questions, something like that, they would run. Yeah, to a third party, possibly. Ooh, what about this third party? What is what about third party? Mm, what is what's 